This is a cross section of the disc which is seen on MRI and it shows how the disc is made of annulus fibrosis which are concentric rings of ligamentous inelastic tissue and the centre of the disc contains nucleus pulposus which is soft proteinaceous material. This lumbar model which is designed by Dynamic Disc Designs has a transparent vertebral body and in cross-section we can see the same thing. We have the nucleus pulposus in the centre of the disc and the concentric rings of annulus fibrosis at the perimeter of the disc. The advantage of a model of course is that we can move it around and we can see how this disc allows bulging in all directions when the disc is symmetrically loaded. This disc has got an analyter, which is the same as the MRI, which has an analyter as well. Um, but we can see dynamically here that when we are symmetrically loading, even a disc with an analyter, nothing much seems to happen. If we momentarily put a front, a forward directed pressure on the disc, not a lot seems to happen either. But if we have prolonged pressure at the front of the disc, then we can see that the nucleus pulposus leaks out of the annulator and catches a nerve, which in real life would cause sciatica. This model allows the material to go back inside the disc when I take the pressure off the front of the disc, but in real life the disc is always under pressure and the material can't go back inside to a high pressure environment in the same way that toothpaste which is squeezed out of a tube can't be squeezed back into the tube. So the body mounts an inflammatory response and dissolves the piece of offending nucleus pulposus away, but this can take several weeks. Rather than putting up with pain for several weeks, or even worse, having treatment such as surgery to try and improve the pain, then surely it would make more sense to respect the disc and to load it symmetrically to avoid the situation from happening in the first place. So rather than having poor posture or slouching and allowing something like an analyter to allow the disc material to escape and cause symptoms of sciatica, then we should symmetrically load our discs and try and keep our spines flexible to avoid even an analyter happening in the first place.